Hey guys, it's Lena. I am back. Yes, from a very long break, but I'm so happy I took that break. It was much, much needed, guys. But I'm even happier that I'm back. I'm back with you guys. I'm back to my cards and I'm back to my readings. This one's for the sign of Taurus, my bull, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the first week of August, first till the 7th. Guys, please remember these are general readings. Time's fluid and energies can be reversed, so take what resonates. Leave the rest for others to receive. All right, we are going to look into the challenge that might present itself this week, my bulls. The advice and the possible outcome, if the advice is taken, we are going to, of course, clarify all of those energies and wrap up the reading with an energy oracle card. Last shuffle and we are ready. Let us go. Spirit, what's the challenge that my bulls might face this week that might present itself, pop out of somewhere, or it's already there in the process, in the pipeline? What's the challenge? Ooh, transformation. Man, that's some challenge. <laughs> that is a big one. And remember, if transformation is standing in the challenge, that means you are in a situation where you feel like you are coming crashing down, getting burnt like that phoenix in that little angel, little girl's palms. Do you see that? In her hands, it feels like the phoenix rising up from its ashes, you know. But at this point in time, it feels like you're being lit up. Oh yeah, there is this really testing time that's going on. You feel like you are being tested by fire in some ways. This also is, I feel, holding on to old patterns, old belief systems that you need to let go of that is not helping you anymore. We all grow with time, my bulls. And knowing you, you guys can be stubborn about certain things. But we need to know that if this transformation is stuck, there is a reason for this transformation to be stuck and why you are being tested. Okay? So be mindful of that. Let's not be too, too stubborn to be... To become a hurdle in our own growth. For us to grow, we need to be open to receive knowledge, energy, wisdom, all of that. Okay? So let's not be stubborn about things, which I feel is what we are being right now. And that's the reason this change that is much needed in life, you're not allowing that change to come in. And for that, what's the advice, spirit? What should my bulls be doing for this challenge that is now in front of us? The advice, please. Yeah. Feels really like... What is it with Earth signs this time around? You guys are already being, you know... As I said, for Capricorns, feel like a stuffy nose, like a stuck situation, stuck energy. Even the cards are like that. Look, three of air, yeah. We need to learn and move from whatever this is. And it is a painful one, I can tell you that. This feels like whatever that is, rejection in some way or things that are not working out the way that you want them because that's how they worked out back in the days in the past whatever or that is how it has always worked out the fact that it's not happening that ways again and again and again is a clear sign from the universe that 
you guys need to have a different approach towards this the spirit is in some way trying to protect you from yourself i hear you need to allow yourself to let go so that something better can come in there is clearly a lot of discomfort you feel like you've been bloody thrown in a pit of fire rather than fighting change go with the flow that's what it is you've been told stop being stubborn and look at it as a way of universe protecting you from the old ways of doing things that have now stopped serving you in any ways time to change both basically time to change and if we do look 10 of fire burning away old patterns burning away things in the past from the past releasing them that have not served you it's a clear clear message wow with the six of earth bringing that balance that fair game that you know sense of tranquility i hear wow beautiful word there yeah but to reach that tranquil state man this is crazy fire testing going on this is testing your inner strength as well transformation of any sort is not easy to say the least if this is standing in the challenge it feels like we are fighting against it we are not fighting for ourselves because in some way we feel safe comfortable protected in our old ways because it's a known danger right a known fear we do not want to get into that unknown zone we need to allow ourselves to be able to be in that unknown zone to be able to not necessarily be in so much of control of the situation knowing that whatever is being done is not being done to you it's being done for you the universe is actually protecting you at this point in time it's creating this uncomfortable situation so that you grow out of it learn how to get yourself out of it and that's how you're gonna grow loves that is how it's gonna happen transformation standing in the challenge please clarify why do we have transformation in the challenge spirit last shuffle i'm gonna do let's see if it's gonna pop out or not doesn't look like there's something that's gonna pop out they're like yeah that's what it is it is tough time going on it is testing times going on but that is for yeah look nothing is pop let's just look into the advice this transformation to me also is feeling like by the way before we clarify this as somebody fighting addictions old patterns that's like something you know is burning you inside out but you are not able to let go of that for you to come out of this testing waters we have the page of pentacles coming up with the three of air now the good tarot that i'm using right now one of the reason why it's called good tarot is because there is none of the card that is read negatively or reverse three of air usually is the three of swords card which brings in pain it's either the third party situation or something that is bringing in a lot of pain here it's like you need to understand that this process is painful yes it is tough yes but it's done for your good you are put in this situation so that you can 
grow into a better human being. So there is no other way around it. You have to go through it. You have to walk past this fire pit. Page of Pentacles coming in as hope, as learning, as mastering something. And this could very well be your nerves for those that I'm connecting with who are struggling with old habits which are so unhealthy for them. And when I say addiction, I do not mean only substance, though it's coming in strong, but it also means your behavioral pattern or you being used to a certain way of doing things or used to being with certain kind of people. Unhealthy, toxic, something that you are not letting go of. There's stubbornness that's coming in from here. It's very, very strong. And the advice is to learn out of this. You need to take it with a big pinch of salt or a gulp that is difficult to, you know, take in. We need to. Knowing that the universe is doing this for our own good rather than feeling that everything is working against us everyone and everything is challenging us rather than thinking from that angle which is making us very very defensive very very stubborn very very reluctant to accept this new change we need to change our modus operandi and that starts from your headspace. This is accepting ugly truths as well with the three of air there. And if we are doing that for ourselves, wherein we are accepting those ugly truths and working through things and learning our lessons, ten of fire is what I see with that six of pentacles coming in again. Lovely. I see the fool. Yeah, there is a new beginning on the horizon, a new chapter. You are going to start on a fresh note. We have the seven of swords here. Six of pentacles and the fool. This is gaining that triangle state of mind after going through this crazy testing phase. And this is gaining that insight that there's something new, something fresh coming in, getting over the past, releasing the pain, releasing the past, releasing the reluctancy and accepting and having faith. This fool card is also about a lot of faith in the universe that whatever is happening is happening for my good i might not know but i have faith that it's gonna work out and i'm gonna find that balance and i'm gonna find that inner peace of sorts inner balance of sorts look this king of earth is all about taking responsibility of your actions with this seven of swords here this is you turning your back towards whatever was not working for you. This is getting out of the harm's way. This is turning your back towards nonsense that we have been comfortable in. This is heading steady towards this new path that this fool is also presenting. And this has been a very, very tough ride this has been a tough lesson this is going to be a tough lesson this is going to be punch in the gut but this punch is what would get you to the other side wow bulls it is going to be tough to say the least but it is much needed It's like, you know, transformation is like 
we rising up from our ashes of our shattered dreams as painful as it feels of not having achieved our goals or not having our dreams come true finding peace in knowing that there's something better out there for us if this did not happen that is also for our good and we might not understand it now but universe has a plan and you have faith in that plan let's get you an oracle guidance message to wrap up this reading very intense very heavy very painful very this feels like universe showing its tough love you know but it's still love remember that final word for my bulls for the spread the seat look we have the seven of swords coming in again as the seat and the fifth chakra archangel gabriel is there with the throat chakra lighting up this is also you talking to someone open up talk to somebody of the struggle that you are going through i'm going to read deceit first and then the fifth chakra archangel gabriel this sounds like a self-sabotage this hidden tactics and manipulation this card comes as a warning that there may be some deception going on in your life the person hiding behind the curtain is likely someone you know or deal with either personally or professionally the duplicity could be regarding a personal issue like someone spreading rumors or disrespecting you to others or it could be a business matter where details are being hidden or even manipulated be aware of what is going on in your life the man behind the curtain is holding a bag of something valuable so watch out your money and your good name and make sure that you have all information you need to keep things honest this is also something to do with being honest with yourself this someone who's doing whatever behind the curtain could very well be you working against you unknowingly but definitely for some this is very clear a deeper layer of meaning maybe that the deception is actually coming from within there you go thank you is there something that you're lying to yourself about in this case the bag of valuables may be holding things like self-esteem happiness or even leisure time whether it's about your life or yourself remember that the universe has a hard time sending you honoring experiences if your energy is shrouded in self deceit and that is the reason why this transformation feels so 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 tough because we are not going with the flow we are flowing against the will of the universe let's see what archangel gabriel has to tell us self-expression and speaking your truth gabriel holds his trumpet in one hand and a beautiful orb of blue light in the other he's sending powerful energy to your throat center acknowledging your power to communicate and your readiness to do so this angel opens you up to truthful expression both with yourself and others you may have had trouble with expressing emotions and ideas in the past but gabriel is here to tell you that your soul longs to take that leap now look at that the fool taking that leap beware that true communication includes how you speak to yourself oh my god this is all i'm truly feeling for someone for sure this is about self-deceit and being honest with your own self how you are communicating whatever is happening to you and perceiving it and telling yourself whether it is done against you whether it's the whole world standing against you it's the world versus me or it is the universe with me helping me out get through this tough phase so never deny your profound integral value speak up for yourself write in your journal 
let your words flow go with the flow darlings not against it now is the time to express yourself freely and fully and the universe always honors your choice to do so this card could also indicate that communication project is coming or a time of heightened communication with spirit and telepathy with others oh my god wonderful bulls it is time to be honest with yourself to communicate clearly where you are why you are there what you want and how you're gonna get out of whatever this situation is where you feel that you've been burned in hell but you are being forged in the fire to come out as a better being and on that note my bulls i'm gonna take your leave i thank you all for joining me this week it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods